Hello, welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. I'm Roadkill and today we are taking off from Nashville and flying to Baltimore on our 13th leg of our flight across America in the DC-3. This is going to be a long one, so uh, if you're flying along with me, I'm not going to film the whole, the whole flight as usual. I'm going to edit out some of the parts so you don't have to watch me fly this four and a half hour flight it may be longer i don't know it just depends it seems like when i look at the map and i plan my route on the microsoft flight simulator uh, map it shows a time and it i just go by that time sometimes it can be less sometimes it can be more i don't know why that is but it just is it says it's four and a half hour four and a half hour flight but we'll see once we get up into the air so uh before we get started, hit that like and subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so that you can keep up to date on all my latest videos. Leave a comment down below on where you would like to see me fly and uh, I might do it. With that all out of the way, let's get to flying. As always, I start cold and dark. If you don't want to watch me flip a bunch of switches, I'll leave timestamps in the video timeline down below, and you can jump ahead to where you want to jump in. But uh, for now, I'm just going to start flipping, flipping the switches and getting these cow flaps open so that we can start taking off. Get our mixture set to high. Make sure my joystick's working here. Everything's reading correctly. And let's see here. We have our ground power. And since I updated these things, I don't know how to use them as well as I did before. So no position. That's the traffic. I want the terrain. And I want this to be entered in here. Can I get in close enough to do it? That is the question. It doesn't want to let me. There we go. And on this one, I'm going to do... That there. Okay, looks like we have our our destination on the GPS here. Sorry, I'm taking a little longer on the GPS here. I'm not used to the updated version. I kind of like this because it gives me my estimated time down here. So we'll see how that works. All right. Oh, uh, what am I forgetting? The lights, of course. I always forget the lights. Don't forget the lights. All right. We have... Magnetos. Uh oh. Why are my magnetos not spinning? There we go. Well, I want to go all the way to both. There we go. Alright, I am going to get some lighting on in here because it is kind of dark. Get our booster pumps going. Get our right engine primed and charging. And. we have it? Do we got it? We got her. All right, jump back into the pilot seat. We'll get that right or the left engine going as usual. Primer up and running and meshing it. Okay, we have her have her running. I fueled up already. So we are good to go. Let's 
get the ground power off. Let's get the radio frequencies. What is this? PFT. Oh, it's loading up. Okay. Let's get the radio frequencies. Well, I'll do that. I'll do that later. Um, we're going to need them. Let's get our altitude set. We want 9,500 feet for our cruise altitude. And that is where we will be. And we're going to take off here. I think what we'll do is we'll spin around. Let me sit up here a little bit. We'll spin around this truck here or through it. Just need to spin around here and go to the taxiway. I thought I turned off gamer tags, but I didn't. So once we get to the runway, I'll turn those gamer tags off. Just so it's not immersive killing. Got to pull out here onto the runway. Just want to make sure that guy's not taking off there. As I'm not using the ATC radio. Come on, come on, baby, you can turn. Been flying the little jet too much. Not used to flying this big beast. All right, let's get our throttle up. RPMs up to a nice, comfortable level. And we don't need flaps. Ready to roll when you are, big baby. All right, here we go. So we're flying live weather. It's not live time. I adjusted it so it's pretty. Oh, we got some wind. We got a lot of wind. Okay. Whew. Okay, okay. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Alright, we are up and flying. Gear up. So one of the things I've noticed since I upgraded the GPS unit is that uh, I don't turn into my heading automatically, so I don't know if that's just a glitch or what. I'm going to try it again here. Yeah, the nav mode does not want to kick in for some reason. As you can see, I'm hitting my button. doesn't want to do it. So I don't know what's going on with the nav mode. I am on GPS so I will try to mess around with it. If not we are going to have to start this flight over again after I take out the update. There we go just kind of glitchy I guess it's working now I just had to hit the GPS button on the GPS unit however I'm trying to see where I am on this little itty bitty screen here and see if I'm even going close to where I need to be. Seems like it's just turning me in circles. So... I don't know what's going on. It's 
probably some new setting that I do not know nor do I understand. So I'll probably have to look at some other tutorials and try to figure it out. Be nice if I could see my aircraft on the screen, but it's all good. We'll get there. All right. Let's get my mixture down. Props down a little bit. Come on, you know you want to work, don't you? Alright, well, let's see what happens here. Maybe I am taking it off course because it's yelling at me when I... try to maneuver. I had to hit it twice to get it to work. So double tapping the nav button will get it to read. Double tap the GPS and double tap the nav button if you have it programmed on your controllers instead of what it used to be where you just tap it once. So it seems to be doing what I want it to do now. I'm glad you all saw that. If anybody else is having the same issue, that's how I did it. I double tapped it on my controller. I'm going to try to get some vertical speed going or vertical climb to get to our altitude. So, well, I guess we're already at a thousand feet per minute. So, I am going to keep it down probably a little lower. I'm going to go to about 500 feet because it is a long flight. It says we have 3 hours and 47 minutes to go. So we'll get climbing here and uh, see what happens. I'll get back to you once we get up to altitude and uh, we'll get our radios programmed. Oh, that's a cool little area over there. It looks like a rock quarry or something. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the sights. Um, we'll get up to cruise speed, and then once we get up there, I'll set the radios to the frequencies that I got off of uh, the frequency list in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I'll see you when we get to that point. So we've hit our cruise altitude at 9,500. And since we're here, I'm going to start programming our radio or radios for our approach. So we're looking at the Atlas, which is 127.800. 127.800. For Atis, we'll just plop that one in. And we're going to look for... I'm going to try the approach. So we'll see... I'll pro program that one in second, which is 119 119.000. 119.000. All right, so add us approach, and then on comms two, I'll put the tower in. 
which will be 119.400.119. Oops. Dot four zero zero. All right, so Atis Approach and Tower. I could probably program the ground in here, but uh, I didn't get the frequency for that one, so we'll see how that works. <clears throat> so it looks like we're about two hours and 25 minutes outside of our destination. So as you can see, the time on the world map is not accurate. It said four hours and now my GPS is telling me it's two hours and 24 minutes. So that's even better. That's two hours shorter than I was planning which will give me more time to do things later on today. Well the uh, train has definitely changed on our flight. Make sure our speed and everything's good but we've got we've got some hills and stuff out here that uh, is a welcome sight rolling hills is what I'd call them full of green trees and just beautiful let me jump outside and give you an outside look we'll take a look together yeah look at that some beautiful beautiful rolling hills and uh, yeah, definitely some beautiful countryside here that we're flying over. Got some rivers and I don't know what that is over there, but it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, we've got uh, some nice rolling hills and greenery to look at. It's a lot different than back there in in uh, Tennessee where we were flying over flat land. I'm not quite sure where we're at here, but it's definitely a change in terrain. We're about 25 minutes outside of Baltimore and we've just been flying along here checking out the green landscape below us and just enjoying the view. It's been a pretty decent flight, just kind of skimming the clouds here and enjoying Enjoying the time I've been spending here, I guess I could probably turn off these lights as it's not morning anymore. I haven't uh, I haven't got the ATC up yet. So let me see if I can find my controller here and see if it'll kick on for me here without messing anything up here. We need to get the ATC up, see the prop. Whenever I turn on my uh, VR controller, it messes with the props. I should probably, uh, where is it, ATC, probably fix that. I'm just going to throw the ATC window here, like normal, kind of stretch it out here so we can get a nice look at what we're looking at here. Uh, nothing yet on the ATC, so just periodically look over on that and see if uh, I might stick it up here, kind of out of the way. That way you, you all don't have to look at it. Okay, so we'll check the ATC periodically and see if we can get the weather report before we get there. Uh, so we'll just uh, keep on flying and I'll get back to you once we get closer to descent, which we'll probably do here another five minutes. I should probably set that up while I'm thinking about it. We'll go down to about 5,000 feet as it is kind of mountainous and uh, go from there. I should have checked to see what the altitude of the airport was before we started the flight, but that's 
what I get for not doing research. All right, well, I'll get right back to you here in a little bit. We are about 15 minutes outside of Baltimore, and I'm just checking out the train as usual. I think what I'll do is I'll start our descent here. And I'm going to go about 500 feet per minute just to be safe and see what happens. Let's see if I can see. I haven't tuned into the Addis yet. So I'm assuming that'll kick in here pretty soon. If not, I might just switch over to the tower or uh, switch over to the approach, which I might do right now, just to see what happens. Anything on the approach? Nothing on the approach. Anything on Addis? Here we go. We did something there. 29.92 Potomac Approach. Nothing there. So, let's see if we can reach the tower. Nothing on that. So, apparently, the altimeter is 29.92, and that's what we're at, so we're good. Just kind of looking around here, see if I can see any landmarks. Since I know there probably are a few down below. I apologize for this mouse popping up in the view. What is going on here? Let's see here. Okay. I just saw a bunch of lines down below and I wasn't sure what that was, but that's air air fences or whatever around uh, airspace. Air spaces. Air fences. Alright. We're just going to kind of fly around here until we hear some chitter chatter. I guess we won't hear it because I don't think I turned on the voices. I could probably... Where are we at? We're about 11 minutes outside. Um, we're on the tower frequency here, so let's check the tower. Nothing yet. On the approach, try Addis. Yeah, I don't know why this... Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but... I figured we'd have Addis by now. Since we're about 10 minutes outside of Baltimore, or the airport. We might be flying over Baltimore now, for all I know. Um, I'm going to drop... A little faster, I think. I'm going to throttle back a bit. I don't want to go over speed, but I'm going to go to about a thousand feet per minute. Since we're so close. And I might actually drop our altitude down to 3,000. And we should be good. Oh, uh, where are we at here? Nothing yet? Alright, well. Anything for the approach? Nothing. I 
can't remember which. I think the 119-400 was the tower frequency for Baltimore. KBWI are the call letters and... looking through here to see if I can see them and I don't see them so we'll just keep a keep an eye on things here and see what happens as we descend down to 3,000 feet about nine minutes out and all's looking good looking kind of fast but I think we should be okay getting about 6,000 feet now gotta take a sip of my beverage and I'll just keep messing with the radios just to see if any of them tune in here Thought for sure we'd have Addis by now, but it's not kicking in. Not that we need it, because we can see what the weather is already. And I think I'm just going to switch over to the tower. Baltimore Tower is ready to roll, it looks like. For some reason, it's not bringing up landing options. ABWI, there we go. Press full stop landing. Alright, we're good. 29.92 is what we're at. We got wind 281 at 4. Flies straight in runway 4. So we just have to fly in straight, which is awesome. Let me turn off this light here. We don't need it anymore. Okay, we're making our way across this beautiful landscape to the airport, which I'm assuming should be off into the distance. Yeah, we're still we should be shooting down, but we're going up for some reason, so I'm going to drop our vertical speed a bit. Baltimore, here we are. Roadkill Air. Leveling off at 2,000 feet and flying straight in to runway 4. Baltimore off into the dis off in the distance out there to the left. The airport, however, I am not gaining any visual on it yet that I know of. So we will see what we come up on here in the near future about two minutes out so it must be this right here acknowledge clearance yes I did so runway four must be this right here we're gonna kill some power here turn off autopilot I'm hoping this is the runway here it could be the highway I don't know. That looks like a runway to me. 
Although, I could be wrong. Is that, which one's the runway? Which one's the runway? That one or this one? I think it's this one here. It's our speed. Yeah, that's the runway right there. Okay. We are good. As long as I can land this bad boy. You never know with roadkill air what's going to happen. Well, you do know what's going to happen. We're going to bounce. We are going to bounce, aren't we? Unless we could just slowly drop this onto the runway. Come in nice and easy. And as always, I forget my landing lights. Got to turn those on. Safety first. Safety first. I'm going to give us a little flaps here to slow us down more. Ooh, that's a nice trip line there. Some power lines right before the runway. Alright, this is going to be a nice smooth landing. I can already feel it. Gear down. Just going to nose us over this way. There we go. Look at that, no bounce this time. If I can keep her straight on the runway this time around. And the thing. It's always at the last moment where it likes to kind of spin around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that time I didn't mean to do that. That time I didn't mean to do that at all. Alright, we're going to get on over here. What is going on? Did I run something over? A possum or something? Do they have possums in Baltimore? I don't know. What in the heck, man? Something's glitching in this airport. I think the runway is. It is. You see that? I'm hitting some sort of invisible line here that is making me spin out. All right, we're gonna get over here if we can. Hitting speed bumps, that's what they are. They're speed bumps. For people like me that like to speed around the uh, taxiways, all crazy like what in the hell okay never had that happen before all right we're parking her before we blow her up let's kill the uh, kill the engines here just flip these over kill them turn on some ground power Get the batteries off Oh, I forget about that every time. I wish it didn't do that. I don't know why it does that, but it does. We'll let our passengers out here and uh, throw these are closed. Well, thank you for flying with me from uh, Nashville to here, Baltimore. We made it here unscathed, even though my landing, my landings are never beautiful, but. We made it nonetheless. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a nice flight, nice weather. Beautiful scenery along the way. Rolling green hills and and whatnot. I think we probably, since this was a longer flight, I think we probably have about one more leg left in the series because we're not too close or not too far away from New York. 
which is where we're heading next. So uh, it's been a long and enjoyable flight and we have one more leg left in us. If you haven't caught any of the other legs of this flight in the DC-3 across America from San Francisco to our next destination, New York, I'll leave a card up here in the upper corner here so that you can click and find the playlist to see all of the legs of these flights from San Francisco to New York. And uh, you can watch them from leg one. This is leg 13, and I think next one's leg 14, and it'll be the last one. Thanks for flying with me. I enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Have a great week, a weekend, whatever you have in front of you. Stay safe and Godspeed.